I have one more question, but go ahead and ask. Uh, actually, I space with Tanya about it uh, yesterday, I believe. Okay. Um, she mentioned a project for somebody, and they want to. I never heard of this before, but they want to take the clinic note from Cerner and populate it into Redcap. Um, it was the CS is an external module called Redcap CSS injector. That's what they said they used. Who said um, they used? Um, this guy, his name is Palash Malik, M A L L I C K. I guess he used it on another project. Um, so I'm not sure. All right, let's take a minute here. Let me pull up a dummy project. Real quick. <clears throat> What'd you say, Carol? Um, I was working with Prolosh, and the CSS injector was only used to make the um, Cerner information not downloadable. It is a PDF, though, right, or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. But it 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 wasn't to put the data in to or. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. It. That's, it didn't make sense for the CSS. So let's it's, let's look at a different external module. Um, and, and see what we have here. And I think that, um, uh, let's see, um, I think it's the newer, oh, this is on my project, sorry. Let me get out of this a minute. But a quick, Carol then, he, he was able to put the whole clinic note then from Cerner into- Well, I, when, he just said he needed to have his files that he uploaded unable to be downloaded. So um, when you ask what specifically you put up, I can't say yes or no on that for Cerner data, but I was able to help him get it to a point where the file was basically full screen so you could read it right. and scroll through it but it was not allowed to be downloaded. So a combination of two things is what we had to do to get there. Okay. So how many of your help then on if since you did it on a prior project, maybe um, not less Terry, you know, shows the external module here and that's all I need to do, but. Um. I do okay, have a quick so, sample. So let's let's try creating um, a designer. Oh, I wanted. Um, oops, I wanted inline pool. I think this will work. We haven't demoed it yet. Like. Um, What is it your inline pool? That's something new I haven't tried. I know. I think it's one that I just recently, maybe I don't have it enabled. Hang on a second. Oh, man, a project. No. Well, so I do have a quick sample if you want to continue looking for that. Sure, I'll pop out. Go ahead and share your screen. Let's take a look. Meanwhile, I'd like to find where this is. Yeah. So um, just 
to show you what I've done, I have a bunch of different samples. This is a regular just file upload with the file upload that's built into without using any um, external modules. Then I did it with um, this inline action tag, not embedded into an embedded field. And this is what it comes up with. Here's the name of the file and this is what it looks like. That wasn't good because he wanted this to be readable and it's kind of small. And then here's inline with a different size just to see what it what it does. So we played around with the sizes and you can do that too if you want. Now I made it all in embedded, an embedded field with it. No size, this is exactly what you see. Here's 100%, 100%, it's pretty small. But if you do 800, 100%, it's at least the right size left to right, but up and down is not. So then I tried 800, 800, and that's better. It's actually about the best. Well, you could go to 800, 400. Again, this is a smaller size, but if you're trying to save space, it's not so much to scroll. And then here's 800, 1100. And that's basically the full page. This okay. does not include, Jason, this does not include the inline S, uh, CSS uh, to get rid of the downloadable option. When you do that, it gets rid of this um, top part and it gets rid of the, the link, I believe. <laughs> so I don't know if that is what you're, anybody is looking for. This is all just a one page sample. I, I have to get ready to ask you yeah, if there's going to be like three or four pages of a note from a clinic note, then how do you, yeah, you're going to have to each individual page. You could, um, I think you can scroll through it. Yeah, that's, uh, this is a second one. This is the multiple page one. It's just loading up. This is great, Carol. I don't know why we didn't, did we never dem demo this before? Um, not specifically, I don't think. Well, and that's why I was looking for an external module, but in actuality, this is a, an action tag that, um, you just add to the field and that's why it's available to you right now. So, um, so this is, um, multiple pages and you see the 800, 1100 is not exactly right. Sorry, let me make it just a little bit smaller because you can see the scroll, but it, the scroll bars are here yeah. to go through all the pages. Nice, okay. Yeah, that's nice. That's sweet, okay. Uh, so it's, it's a little simpler than having to use an external module for yeah. just getting, you know, files to be able to be viewable. That's, I think that's exactly what he wants, but can you show the designer on how sure. that's applied, please? Yes, sir. Because right now I had a uh, the option, the clinic note, I guess, it or the notes box as my use as my field. Uh -huh. so does that all change then? You said you have to do the uploadable. Right. So upload you would file. do the file upload. Nice. And then um, here's the inline action tag. Very simple. And you can fool around with these numbers. It's um, width and then height here. Yeah, I think that probably the 800, 800 probably looks good, at least right now anyway. But Right, now. right. And uh, again, once you're playing with your own fields and how, you, you know, how your form looks, that's obviously that's under your control. And then... Um, and, and note that Janet had put the CSS for... Um, not downloading the link into the chat. Right. She's using that. Thank you, Dan, for doing that. Anyway, yeah. I think this is what you're looking for, is it not? I believe so. I mean, uh, yeah. So it, I really like the simple method of doing this since it is just the regular file upload file um, field type. 
Mm -hmm. I agree. Uh, this is this is exactly what I think. From what I understand, what he would be looking for, and of course that's up to you, Jason. But I think that you want to be able to just click on upload a file and have it be a Cerner document or whatever, and it appear there. Uh, I find that yeah, it seems uh, like not right somehow but it's not my call does that seem weird to you Vern? I, I, i'm sorry what was what what look weird? embedding a page out of cerner in a red cap project it isn't even copying the data it's just taking the page and slapping it into red cap more detail about what the clinic no, or the provider pi oh had uh, yeah on. i I understand all the value to it. I'm just thinking. Uh, hmm. Wonder how Vern, how 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 uh, Banner feels about that. Would yeah. would feel about yeah, it? What's the security of it? <laughs> yeah, I mean exactly. because you you know we deal with uh, oh and did Jen leave? Oh, she did. Oh, that's a shame. Um, yeah, you mentioned she did uh, certain uploads, right? I'm sorry. Say it again. That is Jen or whoever, I think it was Jennifer or Jeanette. Yep, J Jennifer, Jennifer Jones. Yeah, she she's doing the banner project and working to try and find ways for us to integrate uh, better with their electronic systems in banner. Um, but uh, <laughs> you know, of course the of course the page itself is useless you understand because you can't analyze it for anything it's just a documentation piece that you can then um, look at at some point but you can't use any of the data on it uh, you still would have to translate it into fields if it was something you were going to analyze however i just find the whole concept of copying and pasting mm -hmm out of an yeah. ER, a little bit of a head scratcher. That's called yeah, screen, it's, screen scraping, and it's usually very, very frowned upon. That's what I would think, too. But again, I, I've told my team this, and just so you all are aware, our, our function is to provide you with the tools, the structure, the the management the support of your project you have a um responsibility to use that tool in compliance with both the the protection of your phi if you're walking around with that out in public and you know you're displaying it inappropriately that that's not on us just like if somebody is storing uh a a piece out of an emr without editing it or anything or you know just cutting and pasting it and it, if that should be um not kosher to that emr system that's on them because we we don't we could never begin to police that kind of thing. So, no, I, they're already where I was already hesitant of going that route, but I thought I'd ask because yeah, 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 yeah. And he had, this other person, Palash, was doing it or had had something done similar. So I'm like, okay, I'll ask. But <laughs> well, it was good. I mean, you know, we were able to display that, um, and I don't think we had displayed it before um so that's that's fine and again i'm just thinking in my head let that seems odd yeah. that was my first thing as to why would you need that i mean you can directly go to cerner you can query i mean you can find something easier through that route um if you're looking for something specific because like you said red cap's only going to have a visual you're not going to be able to you know do yeah. this with other than viewing it. <laughs> so. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys.